Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see how to conditionally render the HTML elements. Now, in the previous video, we have seen the handling the events, right? Now, in this video, we will try to do the conditional rendering of the HTML data. So, how to use the if condition in the React.js. Now, for the convenient, I am removing these all the event handlers. Okay. Now, what I will try to do is so. Here I will try to remove. So this is the template. So now I am adding here one button. Button toggle pose. Okay. So I can use the toggle pose. So that means so whenever I click on this button, I need to show conditional. I need to show the pose. If I click again, I need to hide the pose. So vice versa, it need to. Do. So here I can do class is equal to x hyphen five, y hyphen three, bg hyphen red hyphen five hundred. Okay. So I can use the text hyphen white. So this is the just for the sake I have used. Now if I try to refresh the page, how it will look like? So toggle pose. Okay. So toggle pose it will look like. Now what we can do is I am adding a click event handler here. On click is equal to. So what we will try to do is I will try to add here show pose one state data. So it is f type false. Sorry, it is of type true so that defaultly it will show. Here I will write to do toggle pose handler. I will use one property. So I will use the like this. And here this dot set state I can use. And here I can do show pose is not of not of this dot state dot show pose. Right. So I am toggling the show post data so now i need to call this method so how can i call here so single bracket this dot toggle post handle so whenever i click here so this one will become true and false now what i will try to do is so this one is completed right now what i will try to do is i need to conditionally show this all the data right so there will be so many options to show this conditionally so in the angular or view you will be having ng if and and also vi if and if so, but here in the react js as this is completely is a javascript you know that so this is the javascript notation of writing html this is not truly an html the backend this one all will be converted into react dot create element like that so that is the reason so this is not html it will look like html just so how can i write the condition so we cannot write if condition directly here so block level block level condition elements is not is not supported in the html so how can i do so here we can do one thing so before the render we can write the condition so before returning here so we can write all the javascript conditions here so first what i will try to do is let post is equal to null so i will take the null here if this dot state dot show post is there okay so now what i can do is here i can take this one all complete html whatever the html i am having and here I can do post is equal to paste it here directly. Okay, so I paste it here. So now the post variable is holding the HTML element. So if the if there is if the show post is false means then you will be having null. That means it nothing will be rendered. So I can use this variable directly down here. So this is how we can write the condition. This post variable will be null if the show post is false. It will be having the HTML data. Okay, the JSX data. So, uh, so that everything will be displayed here. Now, if I try to see the output, like refresh this page. So, right now, the show post is true. So, that is the reason the po all the posts are appearing. Now, if I click here, immediately everything is gone. See, so that means the condition what we have written here is working. And now, what I what I want to write is, for example, toggle post is there. Instead of using this toggle post. When the posts are here, the posts are not there, right? So when the posts are not there, we can. Uh, it is better if we show the text as show post. So now, if it is better if we show it as hide post. So how can we write that condition? So we can't use again. If we go here and let's take that let uh, post button name or something like that, we cannot take it, right? So now for these all minute minute things. So what we can do is we can use the ternary operator. So the ternary operator is also supported in this one but here we the only the ternary operator is supported so for example here this dot state sorry this dot state dot 
show post is there okay if this dot state dot show post is there then hide post okay so if it is there means hide post or otherwise you can write show post okay so this is the condition how we can write so if this dot state dot show post is there then show the height post as a label or otherwise show it as show post so now if i go here so first it will be the height post why because already the posts are there so we have written the height post if i click here immediately it became to the show post see so this is how we can write the conditions for small small thing using the ternary operators and also we have another another condition something like what we can do what we can tell is what i can tell is mm, for a for example uh, take this data only okay so this, take this date only if i want to uh, if, if you don't want to represent this like this how can i represent this one is i can remove this variable so previously we have like this right i can write ternary operator for this one also so for example here i can write something like this dot state dot show post is there so sh show this all the data or otherwise show it as null we can write it like this also okay so keep this one all in one bracket okay so now let close this one so now this is the thing how we can show like this also for example if i try to do so refresh this one so we, we are able to show the data we are able to show the data so hiding also is working fine so now you have an option so you, you have a situation scenario that there is no false for this one right so if if the show post is not true the show post is not true there is nothing to do with me that means else part is not there so for these type of things we can write in a different scenario how we can write is so we can remove this null thing okay and i can write ampersand ampersand like this so now what is this scenario so if the show post is true only then can evaluate the next ex next condition next expression if the show post is false then go outside okay so like this also we can write so this scenario will be useful when there is no else part so now if i try to do this one see the same scenario is working fine right so in this way in these three ways we can use and another way how we can write is for example if you don't want to represent these all the things i can go this one i can remove this one all okay and i can remove this one all also i can use something like this dot get post i can call one method this dot get post and here you can write method something like get post okay and here if not of this dot state dot show post is there return null so nothing you don't return anything or otherwise return that data what we have copied we have written we can return it here so you can call this function directly here so this is also a valid one so if i try to refresh this page okay if i try to refresh this page so let's see what will happen so nothing happened here if i click here the same thing is executing see so we have written so many so as this is a javascript so whatever the thing you want you can represent so here this is the thing you need to remember so if you want to write if block is not supported in the return in this one okay when we are implementing this one so here here also if you if you want to write in the jsx if block it is not supported so you need to remember this main thing other than that you can do whatever you want okay so now another thing what i want to tell you is so i have implemented previous method right so for example let's assume that i have a count variable okay so it is of true so let's take this count variable okay so now here if i want to show it so at the top only i will try to show it so here if i have a count so previously we have implemented right? so if count is true only then i will show show count or something like this okay so this dot state dot count okay this is the method so if it is a, this dot state dot count then show count like this we need to display so it will be displayed fine so for example show count is displayed why because it is a count is of type true okay if if i keep it as one sorry if it if i, if I keep it as zero so then what could be the output here why because so the count is zero means nothing but the false only so then it should not display the show count right so then what is the output here it is displaying this zero so what is happening here you need to remember this thing so here if you are writing this and condition these things means if the zero is there means it will be displayed as it is so this dot state dot count the zero will be printed as it is or otherwise if it is false only then it will not be displayed so you need to remember this one this type of condition ampersand ampersand this thing 
no with no else statement if you are using means you need to remember that the uh, condition what you are using in the left hand side it should be always truthy or falsy if it has a number or something it will not work okay or otherwise you can use something like is equal to is equal to zero you can use this type of statement so now it will it will show you the count if it is not equal to equal to zero okay so now so this one will not show so like this so you should be using the truthy statement so if you if you use this uh, number statement means it will not work okay so this is the this is the main thing so this is how we will be implementing the conditional rendering the elements in the react.js hope you understood about these all uh, conditional statements if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you